and found this beehive on the property, right next to where the baby goats were born. With all this news of our bee population dying off, the last thing he wants to do is kill them. The goal? Save the bees. I have a beehive inside an old time. The first thing he does is post a message on our local Gotta Facebook page. Them safely. Most of the replies indicate that the bees are African and we should kill them quickly. Thanks for all the comments and concerns. I've been studying on the internet how to keep bees. I'm gonna purchase a smoker, a bee suit. All the guys responded with encouragement. Awesome, glad to hear. Smart to keep them bees. Good luck. Beekeeping is a lot of fun. Bryson discovers that beekeeping is a huge expense. The most expensive part was the beehive. I found this website, a very cheap way of building the hives and, and shows you all the directions and all the size measurements you need to build this top bar hive. So there are other things that weren't as expensive, like the bee suit and smoker and some of And I just quickly picked them up on eBay. A full suit for me and a half suit for my dad. And then figured out that the bees were a little more dangerous. And I ended up getting a full suit for my dad too. There's no way he's going to get eaten one bee in the suit. What's all these terms? You have African, you have killer bee, you have wild, you have European. I mean, what's the difference between all of them? So African and killer bee and wild bees are all the same thing. You also have the European bees. These are more domesticated ones, and they're what the beekeepers have been taming down for years. After researching and getting all of his equipment, Bryson decides to call a few bee experts for their advice. Call a bunch of people that were local to see what their take was on this whole beehive thing. The first guy recommended burning the entire tire and ordering a new set of European bees. The second guy said he was never able to catch them and recommended spraying them with an insecticide from 20 feet away. The last call stopped Bryson in his tracks. He described the bees killing things such as a thousand pound pig, dogs, people, even experienced beekeepers. He clearly indicated these things needed to be exterminated, and he was the one to do it. Is he actually sells honey, and what he does is kills the bees and then takes their honey. Doesn't that kind of seem like wrong? I'm wondering if our fear is what's causing our bee population to diminish. They sound pretty dangerous, and so... I just don't know what to do now because I've already built the hive and I already ordered all the stuff. Before giving up, Bryson messages one last local beekeeper. What are your thoughts? The beekeeper disagreed. His family had been doing it for generations. He has concluded that these bees are more acclimated to the southwest. He captures wild bees in his hives all the time and is happy with the results. Go out there kick some bee butt. I mean, not really, but if they even have butts, I don't know. He invited Bryson out to see his hives. We went out to his place, right on the edge of a cornfield his hives were set up on. The moment I started walking in the 200 range or so, they started to just tag me. And that's 200 feet away from their hive and they're already pinning me. My mom and sister... You can't get out of the car because the bees are aggressive. And it's scary. He keeps, he's like he's circling our truck. So what do you think about your brother doing the bee thing? I wish we'd brought the other suit so I could do it too. Oh yeah? yeah. And then when I was done, we kind of hopped into the back of the truck. I had maybe 15 bees swarming in my head or whatever. And then we took off and they were just following us. They were determined. I mean, these bees are smart enough to know you're in that suit and they know what skin is. We drove about a mile or so before those bees actually stopped chasing me. They were like determined little bugs. They like swarm your face and stuff. But there's no reason to freak out. They did say too, the larger the hive gets, the more aggressive they get. Just before dusk, Bryson is ready to move the hive. Excited and scared. Put the uh, queen excluder on the front entrance. The queen won't get out and the hive won't go anywhere. First guy before we do anything. What made you think that your dad had to be out there with you? Well, I figured since he kind of has a hurt ankle, it would be kind of a, a good idea to bring him out there. Hopefully all the bees will just go for him. We got him a little sturdier suit for little protection, hopefully. <laughs> and pretty much just reach in and just kind of grab it, kind of pull it off. And the idea is to bring it right over and put it right into the uh, the top bar hive and close her on up. I'm, uh, I'm expecting to get stung. <laughs> There's no way you can mess with a wild hive and not get stung. Don't know if I'm allergic to them or not. It seems to be any funner. It might swell up like a big balloon. That's why I got this. Every beekeeper's friend. I actually think I got stung a couple times. I felt like a little, little pain here. It wasn't like an ant bite. So much fun. You had like, you got bees in your, in your hands and there's just a whole chunk of them. You're like, oh wow. You just shake them right off and they just fall right on. That was a ton of fun. The next morning, Bryson checks up on his bees. I'm pretty sure we got the queen in there because those bees, see that, that one's trying to get in like really badly. They seem to be tending it. There's 
tiny comb. I just grabbed it from the bottom. Let's see all the cells they made. Quite talented little buggers. The next day, they all moved back to the tire. So I kind of took that time to organize all the comb and stuff. Me and Dad had the tire and we were moving it, and I tripped, and it, I was expecting them to like come rear end first at me, and they didn't. As we were in the process of moving them into the hive, every time we would take a handful and put it in the hive, it would take off on us. And pretty soon, all of them are practically flying, like they started to swarm on a nearby tree. Lost the queen. It's right there. Let them all settle down right there. Yep, the queen's over there. Here's another idea. Let's go get a five gallon bucket. This is a perfect spot for him, Dad. And we went over to the hive, and what we did was, is we kind of made a door entrance. Ready? Go, go, go! And so the, the bees started like pouring out of the hive, but they weren't going anywhere. And then they started doing their pheromone dance to get all the other bees over there. And so we knew the queen was in there. There they are, waving the pheromone. Right there. See that? We got her in there, high five. Bryson definitely got the queen into his hive. Probably both times. But little did he know there was a small hole the queen kept escaping. I learned a ton about bees. And the other even better news is we saved the bees. Let's go catch some bees. Please subscribe. For more information, you can click the website link below. Thanks for watching. So now, let's go hive some bees. <laughs> hive the bees. Hive some hive bees. The... <laughs> I don't know. Do it again, it was fun. The same words. Are just... Hive the bees? Yeah, you gotta put the bees in the hive. So they've been hived. <laughs> oh, okay, okay.